The cross has fallen and this Greenville County Church reduced to ashes this evening after a massive fire. The flames are dark and thick black smoke here blazing could be seen for miles around Changing Your Mind Ministries. These pictures from Air 7 overhead. Mm. 7 News reporter Rochelle Spence was on the ground as crews were battling those intense flames for more than six hours. And she joins us live from the Charity area on Beth Drive near State Park Road. Rochelle? Diane Gordon, we have arson investigators. We have sled agents who just got here on scene tonight after this Greenville County Church burned down to the ground this morning. Now, I talked to the pastor, understandably off camera. He is very upset. He says that this building right here behind me is not the one that they use for church services. He was here when the fire happened, but he was in a building just off to the left. If you can get some of that, keep some heat off agent three. The faint outline of firefighters' neon gear quickly disappeared as the smoke billowed to new heights. Roads were blocked as more crews kept coming to help. Firefighters surrounded the church, attacking from all sides, trying to keep the fire from spreading to these other nearby businesses. I've never seen a building burn like this. Toby Dix leads a different church just down the street. He says the pastor here at CYM is staying as positive as possible. I think he also understands, too, that a church is not a building, that the church are people, and they're going to gather Sunday, and they're going to worship the Lord, and it's just a building. Crews say the fire started here on the right. No one was inside, but outside, drivers stopped to take pictures and send up prayers. When I heard about it, I was praying for him immediately, you know. Dion Washington goes to the church and says it was a close call for his pastor, Wendell Jones. He was actually in the new building while the, the old building was burning. Crews say they don't know how it started and that the investigation is just now underway. It's going to take some time. We're going to be here a while. And we were out here as the roof caved in, as that steeple collapsed. I can tell you so many people just kind of gasped. And that was a few hours into them fighting this fire. I can tell you I have never felt that much heat in my years of reporting. I've certainly covered a lot of fires. This was one of the biggest ones that I've ever seen and certainly the hottest ones that I've ever felt. We are live in Greenville County. Rochelle Spence, 7 News. Huge flames out there, Rochelle. Thank you. We do know three different departments came to battle this fire. Parker District, Piedmont Park, and the city of Greenville. None of those firefighters were hurt while fighting the flames.